Hey church, hope you're enjoying this sunshine uh, today and uh, welcome to our home. Uh, this picture behind me that you may have in the shot is our friend Bessie. Uh, a friend of ours painted that for us a few years ago and gave it to us. Uh, might, might snap a picture of Bessie's sister that we had made into a chair that also is in our living room. Might post that a little later. Uh, but anyway, uh, I know this is not the way we plan to spend our spring break. Uh, many of you have had to change your plans like Lynette and I have. Uh, we were uh, had a trip to Nashville scheduled to uh, spend some time with our dear friends Randy and Debbie Berkner this week. Uh, but we'll be looking forward to uh, replanning that trip again in, in the near future. Um, I'll just tell you uh, that it's been so encouraging to me to be on uh, social media and see the creative ways uh, that you guys have practiced social distancing uh, in the change of all your plans this week. Uh, it's been amazing to me some of the things I've seen you doing, uh, creating. I saw one family had turned a window into a stained glass window, just all kinds of creative things. It just blows my mind that people are as creative as they are uh, because I'm just pretty much uh, sitting here eating. Uh, so uh, anyway, that's about as creative as I can get is grouping all the different colored M&Ms together. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. I've also uh, really been encouraged to see some of you posting on social media, uh, your homework from Sunday, the uh, three things every day that you're thankful and grateful for. Others have shared with me uh, that they're journaling those things. Uh, somebody shared with me that uh, they were writing theirs on their bathroom mirror. Uh, so they would be reminded every day some great, great ideas. Uh, and again, like we talked about Sunday, gratitude will change your attitude. And it's really been encouraging to me. And I hope it's also been encouraging to you. Uh, we were uh, uh, excited about the turnout that we had on Sunday with our online viewing. I blew our minds how many people got in and uh, viewed that and actually stayed with us during the whole time. Uh, we're planning on doing that again this Sunday morning at, at 1030. So plan to join us, uh, invite others, share that link, uh, invite other people to, to join us as well. Um, Sunday will be very similar to last week's. I, I've not asked our praise band uh, to join us and do music for us simply for the state uh, reason that it, it is spring break. And I know many had plans. Uh, I just didn't want to call people in and ask them to do things uh, like that. But next Sunday's Palm Sunday. Uh, the Sunday following that's, of course, Easter. And we're planning some great things for that, including music uh, that some have asked about. So uh, we're planning for that. But uh, looking forward to this Sunday uh, together. Uh, many have asked what they can do to help. i um, been blessed by people contacting me saying, what can we do? What, is, what are the needs? Uh, one that we know of uh, is a ministry that we partner with in Conway called Bethlehem House, a homeless shelter there. Uh, and we typically have a team that prepares food and delivers it uh, down there once a month. Uh, uh, but they have an increased need right now in the number of people that they're having to feed. Uh, we have food uh, in stock in our kitchen and in the freezer uh, that June Carter is going to uh, go ahead and prepare uh, and deliver to them. Uh, and I know that food buying right now is kind of a stressful situation. It's not really easy. Uh, the, the, the shelves are, are bare in a lot of stores. It's a challenge for all of us. But if you have an abundance or have some food in your freezer or, or whatever, and you would like to help with that need and that ministry uh, at the Bethlehem House, uh, contact June Carter. Uh, she has volunteered to be the point person from our church uh, the go-between uh, between us and, and, and the Bethlehem house. And if you need her number, uh, contact us by email or private message us, and we will share that with you to get you in touch with her. Our local schools have also expressed a need uh, to restock their food pantries when school starts back. They've pretty much depleted those resources, so they've set up containers at the doors of those schools so you can drop off food items, 
Uh, and again, we know extra food items hard to come by now, but if you would just like to make a financial donation to the schools to help in restocking those food pantries, you can get those donations to us at the church and we'll make sure that they get in the right hands uh, and get dispersed uh, to the schools. Uh, I also want to encourage you to check on our shut-ins, check on our, our senior adults during this time. Uh, we're not aware of any specific needs uh, in, in those areas right now, but I know how stressful it can be for them to go and, and, and just buy groceries or to go out in public and to go, you know, try to find what they need in, in stores right now. My mother's expressed this with, with me and we're trying to help her. Uh, but, but check on the, our elderly uh, and especially those that are, are living alone and see if there's a way that you might can help them. Uh, just, just the conversation means the world to them, to be able to talk to someone, hear a, hear a voice, uh, but also see if they have any needs that you might pick up for them while you're out and about uh, doing your shopping and other things. And then uh, lastly, I, I told our staff uh, and some of our board members that I do not want to make finances an issue uh, during this time that we're not able to come together. I know many of you are facing financial stresses. Some of you have been laid off. Some of your, your small businesses uh, have had to close. We, do, we know there's a lot of financial concerns that are going on right now, legitimate. Uh, and we don't know how this is going to affect the economy. We don't want to make finances in the church a part of that stress for you. Uh, but we have had several ask uh, how can we continue to get our ties to the church when we're not uh, gathering together uh, in person and specifically for those that don't do online giving? I would just say you can give online at our website. It's very easy, very straightforward, not hard to use at all. Uh, it's also available on the app uh, that uh, if you have a smartphone, you can install our GN Church app on your phone. You can do giving through that app. Uh, you can also mail uh, a check to the church at Post Office Box 188 in Greenbrier. Again, Post Office Box 188, Greenbrier, zip code 72058. Or uh, we also have set up a lockbox outside of our office door. If you look at our office door just to the left, there's now a lockbox there. Appreciate Daniel uh, getting that put up for us. Uh, but that's a way that you can drop off your tithes and offerings in a very secure way. It's under video surveillance, uh, and it will also be checked uh, regularly and emptied out regularly. And we appreciate uh, those who, of you who gave online uh, this past week, uh, and uh, you just blow my mind with your faithfulness and, and generosity during these times. Um, next Wednesday... I do plan to do an online Bible study uh, made available to our entire church. Uh, we were kind of given these first two weeks just to kind of see how things were going to go, but uh, we are going to go ahead and plan on an online Bible study available next Wednesday night. Uh, so you can be looking forward to that to join us. Also, Amanda, our children's director, and Daniel, our youth pastor, uh, they're making connections in various ways with our kids and our students. Uh, posting things online and through social media for them. All of our staff's working hard. Even during their spring break, uh, we basically had planned up to prior to this, we were all just going to kind of take a break uh, during spring break. But they've continued to work hard and sacrifice, and they're planning some exciting things uh, for the weeks ahead and look forward to sharing that with you and being a part of that. Uh, with you as well. And, and I just want to, I want to close with this, uh, this evening. Uh, those of you that know me, you, you know, I love the Psalms. Uh, we've done a lot of Bible studies out of Psalms. I preach out of the Psalms a lot of times. Uh, but I, I want to close with one of my favorites uh, this evening. And we're going to be digging into this particular Psalm more on Sunday morning. I'm excited about uh, that time, but it's Psalm 121. And I just want you to listen to these beautiful words of hope. Uh, from the psalmist as he writes this. He says, I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Folks, He is our hope. 
He is our help. Uh, God bless you guys. Uh, be a blessing to others. Love on your neighbors like uh, Christ has asked us to do. And uh, look forward to uh, being together with you again Sunday morning at 1030. I love you and God bless.